This is Ming's pickup with ZU23-2 by the box. It's some kind of Toyota Land Cruiser, and of course it has no markings for Toyota because that's illegal. Um, but I looked it up and came up, and it was really kind of funny because these weren't used a whole lot in America. I guess it's just outsourced to another... Lebanon had a lot of them. Egypt has a lot of them. I found two good walk-around photos of them in America. And I used the guy that was selling his for $25,000. This is a 1975 version. <clears throat> Best guess. It's called a Land Cruiser HP 750 maybe. Something like that. I saw a couple of those in Sony. Um, mm -hmm. And as I, I started this last year while I was in Avon. Um, got around last week or so to start putting paint on it and stuff. The doors are still off because I've got an AK-47 that's currently drying and it's going to go leaned up there in the passenger seat. The towel, even though I think it's kind of a cool idea, it's actually hiding a mark squeezed something too tight and <laughs> right here and right here it cracked. when I was. In fact, it was when I was trying to put the front piece in. This side is pretty well covered by this and you don't notice it, but this side has, when it cracked, it did this. And even after gluing, I couldn't get it nice and straight. So the towel is strategically, strategically okay. hiding that that's mistake. That's okay, that's okay. Ma'am, that's okay. But as I built, some things started coming to my mind. I know a lot of times model manufacturers just come up with these weird ideas and do stuff. I've got no up close photographs to figure out how this A-frame rig was attached to the bed of the truck. And Ming having me shove the spare tire under there even makes it worse. I can't believe it's just sitting around there sliding back and forth every time he hits the brakes or, or whatever. Maybe and I probably down. I, I've got to believe it was bolted or welded, but it's bolted or welded, yes. They were. I, I agree, I but saw those there's inside. no pictures of yeah. that that are that up close wow. to see. And Ming, I think, does this in almost every one of their kits, and I'm not going to do it next time because I've got all three of their Jeep kits. I'm going to make my own mouth that is a little more realistic. This vehicle is representing what army? Uh, I mean, none. It's, oh, it's I, not I'm Israeli making it more. Thing? No, no, okay. no. I was going to tell you because the Iraqis had several of these used this way, yeah, and sorry. the frames, the frames were welded to the bed. They were not belted to the chassis. And that crack you have on the side, uh -huh. that's legit because that weapon <laughs> in the back would crack the frame that yes. fast. I'm well, telling you, half the vehicles the Iraqis used question. like that What's broke underneath? down. You got a hat counter? Is there, did they give you the no. counter right in the kit? No, it sits all by itself. Um, and like I said, it was a neat little kit. Uh, there were a few things that I did wrong, like I put the tailgate on wrong. It was supposed to go, or not tailgate, but this lower piece where the uh, reflectors are supposed to go the other way and of course I didn't find that out until after all the paint and everything was on. Um, the tires are rubber but several companies do make aftermarket full resin wheels which are a neat idea if you're worried your rubber is going to go off. Uh, the wheels do articulate a little bit. Um, I saw one of these parked in Cobar Towers and I got down and looked underneath it and there's a big hurricane counterweight right under the center. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Because of the gun. Roll yeah. it probably once yeah. it started to prevent firing. It, yeah, if, you right. fired, if you fired it other the US than... U.S. Air Force, when they put their direct forward the Jeeps we had at Osan, mm -hmm. with a panel mount in the back for an M60, they had a freaking counterweight underneath them. Uh, the, it's all Model Master paint. That's some kind of beige sand with a gray interior and... All the aftermarket is just stuff I've got in my spares box. The ZSU has been painted Russian armor green, and unfortunately it's semi-gloss, so this weekend I will hopefully lay flat coat on it and pretty much call it done. The AK-47 just needs to get glued in. I can close the doors up, but this was something I noticed. And I don't know if with Clay doing his camera, I did my typical mask for a little bit of dust on the windshield. Either the windshield's too short or the windshield wiper blades are too wide. The blade arc went all the way up onto the roof after I did the awful cutter and everything else. But I was like, okay, I'm not going to alter it now. So that's the um, blade arm. And it, you're, it's probably correct, but they're both the same. And it was just, it was just so funny because it's the first kit I've ever done that with and have that happen. The other ones always end up looking great.
But it is. They make three different versions of it. The trucks are a little bit different. Um, one has this. The other has a uh, ZPU. I think it's a 23-1. And then the other one has a ZP or a ZU-14-2 in it. And this one is what? This is a 23-2, 23-millimeter two barrels. The first kit they released was more of like one of those Toyota sports looking ones. Mm -hmm. I don't know enough about trucks. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it has just a single barrel version of this, and the mm -hmm. latest rendition has that, like Australian looking one with the snorkel or the high mounted air yeah, filter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's mounting a ZU 14 millimeter with two yeah, barrels. Um, some of the aftermarkets that have been made for these type of vehicles since they came out, I think they're a great line of trucks, especially if you're interested in Middle East wars or stuff like that. Three different companies make a uh, Russian version of the far rocket launcher <laughs> mounted in the back Ooh. Uh, black dog makes a bm3 turret conversion where the mount fits in there and the bm3 or bmp2 or three turrets mounted okay. in the back wow um and then again you can do anything you want uh you can throw a 106 millimeter recoil rifle on that it had to be a high mount um these are hinged but i don't know enough about back here how much of it would have to be cut down oh well, true um yeah. and again they're hinged so this does drop down or come off i just don't know looked at it to see what would have to come off to lower it back here and like i said uh, uh the accessories are all the tokarov tt22 whatever pistol that is is strategically put there because there was a divot on the windshield. I didn't fill, <laughs> not windshield, on the dash panel. I didn't quite fill all the way, so it's hidden with that. And, um, it was, it was a fun little kit. Just a side note, um, if you happen to not put the doors on, doesn't look that bad without no. the doors on it either. No, and I, I, I was fighting whether I wanted to leave them open or closed or whatever. Um, the one downside, windshields, they're either up or you're sawing the windscreen part because that stays mounted on these trucks. Blast for the doors. You mean? Right. Well, yeah, you've got the wind, the triangle windscreen. Right. If you want to have your windows down or off, you have to shave that or cut it. It's not two right. pieces; it's all one piece. So. Oh, for the wing windows. Yes. Got it. So and that's, I didn't feel like cutting because I would have preferred leaving them down so you could see the stuff inside. You'll still be able to see some of it probably through the closed glass door, but. Well, you could, you nobody knows. Nobody knows. about it. Um, this is still TACOM's M47, it's coming along slowly and surely. It's a nice kit, um, TACOM's. The uh, mantlet and barrel are, like I said, one, two, three, four different pieces, five. Uh, a lot of putty, or what I say is a lot of putty to make everything try and fit together. It still doesn't. Once it's on and I've got it glued in, I've still got to figure out a way to get these all down to the hull and make it look right. One of the guys or the two people I've seen build this far just put a little pressure on each one at a time and had them glue. The thing I didn't like I found out today as I was working on it. That's ah, fine. There's not a whole lot on it. Okay, that's these are currently just held in place. But there are two huge gaps where the front fenders are and they shouldn't be there. And even if I just hold them tight and use any kind of glue, there's still going to be a gap somewhere. So I'm not sure how to fix it. It's a lot less noticeable on this one when it's actually attached. Oh, you're going in. See, it's not quite so bad there. But on this side, it's still going to be bad. So we'll see. I may have to use some more centrifuge or subterfuge or whatever to try and hide that one gap. Squadron green putty. No, you can, that won't work. <laughs> Not there. But it is a great kit so far. Who's is it? Take comps. Um, the one downside, and I still say it's a downside because I haven't tried it, it's link length track. I have no luck with that. And even though they include that neat little form maker, I've seen both of the people that have built the track so far and there's still what I would consider noticeable gaps in between the pieces, so we'll see. Small lines and things? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait a minute. Brush it in there? Use it oh. Dry 
Yeah, I, I, I just don't know how that's going to work yet, because what it is is on the real vehicle, and I had to look at photos to check, there's a plate that runs from the fender back here up to here, and then these are actually welded onto that plate. And I, I've looked at the instructions thinking maybe I was missing some kind of a plate that I missed on the instructions, but I didn't. I just either assembled something wrong when I joined the two, or I got a warped fender or something. Mark, do you buy aftermarket tracks? As much as I can, yeah. Well, yeah. No, no, let me phrase that. It all depends on what I'm building. If I'm building Russian, 99% of the time I will use a metal track because it's dead track and it's the only way to get decent sag the quickest way and easiest way. And now, are they, do they come put, put together? No, no, you have to assemble metal, link, metal track. Metal track, okay. Um, if it's what they call, one pin at a time, right? I would, I would love to have M48 track and M47 track be the same because I'd use Dragon's track on this on a heartbeat because it has return rollers, therefore it's an active suspension or an active track, but they don't offer that. As long as it was well done, uh, Dragon's DS track for the M48 is great. In all honesty, I almost kept my Italari kit because it's single rubber band trap. Right. Kind of on the thick side, but I still prefer that. Can you buy rubber tracks for just any tank or any? Only if it's been made. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, that's just it. DS. That's what I, uh, so I, I always, in magazines, I always see aftermarket part and mm -hmm. so forth. So I'm, I've only put one, one tank together with with links, right? But because of my shaking, I I can't always get them get them together. And you're doing plastic links, right? Yeah. See, I have that's what I have problems with for so whatever reason. It, 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 whether it be plastic or metal, right? I would have issues with just understand. Liquid. So that's why not I true rubber. Metal track is held together by pins. Okay. Problem is you have to cut the pins to size, slide them between the two pieces, and then it's done. And that, next, that's one joint. Next build night, Dr. Yeah. Harrison, or, watch him. He's the last couple fruits, of build nights he was putting tracks together. Next plastic, build right? night, uh, bring yours right in now. and have yeah, Harrison see? put it together for you. <laughs> if you remind me, I'll bring in a set of fruits and let you, or I'll bring him uh, Fru or Spade Ace or Master Club and let you take a look at them. Yeah. I, I was, just, you know, because the rubber ones obviously are so simple. Yeah. You, know, yep. you just wrap it around. So for me, I, sim simplicity is better than authenticity. Depending on what you're building, D Dragon makes what's called DS track, and they do sell it as an individual item. But okay. again, it all depends on the vehicle you're building. Yeah. Sherman wise, they do about four different versions. Problem is, a lot of it's now out of production, which means you'd have to buy a whole kit just to get the track. Uh, Panzer 4, Panzer 3, kind of the same if you're doing a light model because the track were the same. They do sell that separate. They do Tiger, they do Panther. T34, I think. I don't think they do T34s rubber band. No, it's DS. Right, they, well, they do the individual, what they call magic track, which is still going to be a problem. It's already pre cut track. All you've got to do is glue it. But if you're having that problem they come in with sections. the gluing, yeah, I've done this. No, session. no, Magic Track is all one link. piece. Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah, the ends are all cut off. You don't have to supposedly do anything. Oh, okay. But that's individual, and I have just so much problem with selling that because there's always that. Magic Track is still individual links? Yes. It's just in a bag now. Instead of you having yeah. to cut them off the sprues, oh, 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 they've done all that. They mold right, them as right. right. For the German well, what's, what's the track? In, in there's some aftermarket track that are plastic. That actually have like the bottom the side sections, of the vehicle, really? yeah. I've never and then seen the wraparound pieces. I've never seen it individually though. Those no. are those. I've seen those, those in kits. Yeah. Yeah. Similar to yeah, in like kits. That's what this has. Yeah, yeah. 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 one seventy yeah. second does that. Oh, okay, yeah. that might. Yeah. But it's, is it with the model kit or is it? Yeah. Separate track. It's a with the model kit. Yeah, it could, you're right. They mostly come with the model kit. Ugh. Yeah. The sectional see? sectional track. Yeah, I see. That's what comes with the kit. Yeah, these are the sectional track. Yeah. And yeah. the neat, don't, well, I say it's neat because I haven't tried it. Tacom provides a yeah. form to do both sides. Yeah. yeah. But these I've got are, no idea these are how it's going to work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's not as much um, links to put together as of yeah. What are you looking for right now? I can tell you. Oh no no, I was oh, okay. talking, I was just thinking in general. In general, because gotcha. 
one of the one of the kind of the down things about tanks is is putting the tracks True. together. That's, right. why, that's why I stay with Tamiya models of my building tanks because they have rubber band tracks. Yeah, but they're T fifty five tracks for. Is, do you have that off? Doesn't matter. I can yeah. edit it. So. Tos. I don't. I don't it care. Really is. See, I, I, <laughs> no. But I'm like you. I don't care for the. Authenticity. I'm looking for simple and to build. Yeah. Okay, that's my where my fine line is. If yeah. it looks halfway decent, I'm willing to use it. Yeah. But I, to me, as T55 track. Trouble I've had. I just want it to be tracks, simple. You put a like it. Tight, they bend the front wheel. Yeah, sometimes. I'm yeah. not as I'll judgmental to on it. If it looks like yeah. track, it's good to go. Yeah. Well, and again, that's that's what, what I do is I stretch like, my like hot said, water because oh, T55, T54. Oh, you soften them up, stretch them a little bit. What I call flat run track. Come on there. There's no return roller, so when it comes off that sprocket, it's only got one place to go, and that's down. Okay. Rubber track, you can't do that with unless you know what you're doing. Having a, a T55 where the track comes off the sprocket and stays in the air all the way to the idler is wrong. It's not how it operates. And 113, same way. There's no return rollers, so when it comes off that sprocket, it's supposed to it stay. hits at the middle road wheel, stays this far off of the middle road wheel, and then continues on to the idler. And you can't replicate that with rubber band track without doing the old fish line around the sprockets. Yeah, because even on 103, the, the track should not touch that middle road wheel. It's like I said, in, in real life, it stays this high off of it. So the only way to do that kind of track with rubber is, like I said, the invisible fish line. And pull it so it looks about. I tried doing it with that. Big mistake. The road wheels on that thing are articulated. And I should have glued them all into place before I started. Because as I tried to glue the track to the road wheels, the road wheel wanted to come up to meet the track. Uh, so it doesn't look right. That was my fault when I built it. I, I'm, I'm well, no, it, it's not bad now, but. Yeah. I'm more of the, you know, if I got it together. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. Hey, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's, it's just me. It's, right. Yeah. There's, I think Ming, I mean, I've got a set, I forget who makes it. I think they're Ming, makes rubber or vinyl, mm -hmm. single piece tracks for Sherman tanks, if that's what you're looking for. Oh, and they actually look pretty decent. I mean, the, uh, yeah. then the Dragon DS look good as well. The AFV Club makes a run for Sherman. The Dragon, if you check the Dragon website, you can find, they are always running sales on their Sherman tanks. Yeah. For like twenty bucks, and that's not bad for buying a single <coughs> strand of the the the. the I just what I was going to say. If you're that? looking for Sherman, and you know you need Sherman, always buy M4A2 late PTO. The kits still come with one set of DS T54 track and one set of DS T54 EEC track. So you get two sets of Sherman track for the price of one kit. And who's that? Dragon. It's Dragon? called an M4A2 late PTO. Yeah. If you don't know what it is, each